What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. I'm coming to you guys with a video right now. I want to go over Travis Fulgham. He had his press conference today and said some, you know, we're kind of finding out some truth to the 2020 season of what happened. Obviously, you know, a couple people did ask of why his production declined last year, and obviously he was benched. Obviously, he got hurt later in the season after that week four game against the 49ers, that comeback win, and he just showed up. And then for another eight weeks, almost going to get to 1,000 yards, he got hurt. You know, he's out a couple games, but he would have been out only a couple games if they put him back on the field, but they didn't. So, Bolgum pretty much said today that Alshon Jeffrey came back and I went back to my original role, which was obviously the bench. Okay, so I guess he didn't take much respect from that. Doug made up some, if you guys remember last year, Doug was making up so many excuses for players getting benched when they were playing well and why, you know, they were getting benched. And it was the most ridiculous things you probably could have heard. Okay, the way this this you know this offense was run last year was a total joke. As much as our quarterback was horrible as well, but Fulgham, week four came back to win, and it's not that he's not the fastest guy. Fulgham, it just gets good separation. If that ball's put in the right spot, he can go up and grab it. Fifty fifty ball catcher. He's a possession receiver as well. I mean, he's good. He tracks the football very well. Um, I was so surprised, and you know what? The truth is finally out, and honestly, it's not really a surprise because, you know, he when as soon as Alshon Jeffrey came back, he knew that he wasn't going to play anymore this year. I mean, last year in 2020, and it was a shame. They put him in for like one game, you know, one snap here, another snap there, next game. It was kind of ridiculous, but this offense was so productive, and every anything new that we did in this offense, it lasted a game, not even a few plays. And teams would figure it out. Teams would bite on that and know what we're doing. So, you know, Fulgham is fighting for a roster spot right now. He's fighting for a roster spot. And you know what? At the end of the day, like, I think he's going to make the roster. You know, I think, you know, he gets great separation. I mean, the guy just balled out. And he could have had 1,000 yards last year. Um, and I was like, every time we have a bad season, every time the Eagles have a bad season, we always find those gems. Last year, we found Alex Singleton. Okay, we found Alex Singleton. We found Quez Watkins. I mean, we still we, we knew that these guys have talent, but the veteran favoritism killed us. It killed us. Alshon Jeffrey came back and, and Deshaun Jackson came back. Then they benched John Hightower on top of it. So it was just ridiculous what they were doing. Okay, if you have the hot hand on the field and they're doing well, you keep them on the field. I know, like I said, Travis, you know, uh, uh, Travis Fulgham had the little injury. He was out a game or two, whatever. So... They should have benched Alshon. They should have benched Alshon Jeffrey back to the bench. Should have happened. Never happened. And this is why we're trying to figure out what receivers are going to make it. That's why we brought in a new coaching staff for this development process. Okay? And this is the this is the part of a team that you have to overcome, and that is the development process. It's the most important point. You could draft the best players. You can get the highest paid free agents, but if it, it can look good on paper, but if you can't develop these guys into a scheme that's going to work, the season is not going to go the way you should. And I think Nick Sirianni is getting his hands on all these receivers. He's getting all his hands on these receivers. I watch videos. I mean, their receivers doing, you know, doing some testing, you know, some individual work and he's in there and he's like, you know, he's talking to them and he's, he's motivating them. And that's why I got a respect from Nick Sirianni. I mean, I, I saw that video and I was like, wow, like this is how, this is how close Nick is with these receivers because obviously he's a former receiver. And I think he was the main reason we actually drafted Devonte Smith was in how he's here because of it. But I, I, this is what I pretty much figured out. Like, you know, Fulgham was disrespected and, like I'm playing this well, and then you be and then you're just, you're still gonna bench me even coming back from injury. I'm still gonna be benched for two guys that aren't even that can't even last more than a game on the field. I mean, it's ridiculous. The veteran favoritism definitely messed this up tremendously. And you know what? Uh, it's a new era for this receiver group. It's a it's a youth movement for Philadelphia, and I can't be any happier about it. Really, I it's a breath of fresh air when there's no like players that are still here and getting hurt every year, like when they when they get cut and they're released and they're gone, you have this new fresh group and this fresh coaching staff. It's such a, I've never been so excited. I'm excited for every off season, but this one is like, it's got a little oomph to it. Like it's just more, I feel like I have more energy this off season because it's just, there's so many new faces and, you know, guys want to make a name for themselves and it's just, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously, did you guys know this? Did you guys think that Travis Fulgham 
was disrespected, you know, and just how do you feel about Travis Fulgham if he did play the whole year last year? How do you feel about Travis Fulgham going into this training camp? And obviously, you know, will he become the starter? Will he actually move up past Quez Watkins and John Hightower? You guys let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys later. Kicks foot up, fly outside. Peace out, guys. Peace.